Alright, so we found the set of dressers, and we thought it would be fun to have a little friendly competition between my wife and me. She showed her dresser makeover in the last video, and I'm painting the tall dresser in this video, and you get to decide who did it better. I got started by fixing the drawer. The top drawer track was cracked, so I glued it back together, and I clamped it. When the glue was dry, I screwed it back into the dresser. It was a really tight spot, and my small screwdriver wouldn't fit in the back. So, I used this handy little drill attachment to screw it back in there. Then I used some crud cutter and a damp rag to remove all of the nasty dirt and grime. I also took some time to vacuum out the drawers and the inside of the dresser too. There were also a few minor dings and scratches that I filled in with a little bit of wood filler. When the wood filler was dry, I sanded the areas that I filled, and I scuff sanded the rest of the dresser. Then I vacuumed off the dust and wiped off any remaining residue with a tack cloth. To get the three bottom drawers ready to be stripped, I put small pieces of tape on the inside of the hardware holes to keep stripper from dripping into the drawers. And then I wrapped the drawers with pre-taped plastic. Now I was ready to generously apply citrus strip on the drawer fronts. We love this stuff because it doesn't have the harsh smell that some other strippers do. One trick that Natalie has taught me is to cover the stripper with plastic wrap and let it sit overnight. This keeps the stripper from drying out too fast and it lets the stripper work its magic on the wood a little bit longer. The next day, I removed the plastic wrap and scraped the stripper off the drawers. Then I used a sponge and some mineral spirits to scrub the drawer fronts to remove the stripper residue. We usually use still wool for this part, but we didn't have any, so I made a sponge work. It took a few days for the wood grain to dry out to see how the drawers looked, so we went back to work on the dresser and moved it outside to prime it. I sprayed two coats of Benchalac based primer on the dresser, letting it dry for 30 minutes between coats. Not only does primer help the paint stick better, but it also helps your paint have much better coverage and this primer helps prevent stains from bleeding through and staining the paint, especially when painting white like I planned to do with this dresser. When the second coat of primer was dry, we moved the dresser back into the garage and I lightly sanded down all of the prime surface to make it nice and smooth. I personally have a fear of sanding primer too far and having to redo it again and again, so I sanded it pretty lightly. And of course, I cleaned off all the dust I created while sanding with a vacuum and a tack cloth again. Then it was finally time to paint. For this dresser, I used General Finishes White Enduro Poly, mixed it really good, and then poured it into my paint sprayer. This paint doesn't need a top coat and it's already thin, so you don't have to thin it before putting it in the sprayer which makes my life as a beginner so much easier. I was pretty happy with how well it sprayed on until I looked a little closer and I saw a nice drip on the side by the leg. So I rubbed the drip out with my finger as much as I could while it was wet and then I sanded it down smooth after it dried. The rest of the dresser felt a little more textured than I prefer so I also did a quick hand sanding job with a fine grit foam pad. Then I cleaned all the dust off and sprayed a second coat. And whoopsie. I thought the first coat dripped bad, but the second coat had some pretty thick drips and runs. So I brushed those drips out the best that I could waited for them to dry, and sanded them back down smooth. I figured before spraying the third coat that I'd better test out the sprayer and lower the amount of paint that came out. After that, I sprayed the third coat and it went on so much better with no drips. The finish felt pretty good on the dresser after three coats, but I did rub a brown paper bag all over it just to smooth it out a little bit more. 
The top also still felt a bit rough from the overspray that settled on it, so we laid the dresser on its back and sprayed the top and the sides with a fourth coat, hoping it would be smoother as it dried vertically instead of horizontally. And it worked. There were a few spots where the finish on the drawers didn't come off all the way, so I sanded that off with 220 grit sandpaper. Oh, and remember this top drawer with all the detail on it that we painted white? Well, I stole Natalie's idea to sand the raised part down to bare wood and leave the white paint in the recessed areas. Then I cleaned all the drawers off and gave them three coats of verithane polyurethane for a top coat. But when I wiped the poly over the wood detail on the top drawer, I accidentally got poly on some of the white painted areas too. And the poly had somehow picked up dust from the wood, so it wasn't clear anymore. And since Natalie has a much steadier hand than I do, she offered to fix my mistake and touch up the white paint for me. And I think it looks so much better now. All this dresser needed now was some new hardware. I really wanted to try these leather pools that you might have seen Natalie use on some of her other makeovers. The bolts were a little bit big for the existing hardware holes, so I used a drill bit to make the holes slightly bigger. All right, before I share what this dresser looks like now, please take a second to hit the like and subscribe buttons. We really appreciate your love and support, so thank you so much. So here's what it looked like before, and here's what it looks like now. I personally love the white with the contrast of the wood drawers and the leather pools. I think this is my favorite makeover I have done yet, even though it's only my third one. But the real question is, do you like my dresser better or Natalie's dresser better? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time.